I remember reading a book a while back, one of the first books I ever read. It was called Where the Red Fern Grows, and it told the story of a young boy and his hounds. The boy raised money by winning various competitions to prove their skills in raccoon hunting. Throughout their numerous adventures, this boy faced many challenges and persevered. As a child, this book had a profound impact on me because I grew up in a financially challenged situation. I still recall the determination I had in saving up enough money to bring home my first dog, a golden retriever whom I lovingly named Faster. After reading this book, I was motivated to embark on a journey of training my dog. Fast forward to the present, at 46 years old, I now have three dogs, all of whom I have successfully trained to be off-leash companions. I owe this accomplishment in part to the inspiration I found in the pages of that book. In the book, there was a particular incident where the boy tried to catch a clever raccoon. Despite his best efforts, the raccoon outsmarted him. Eventually, the boy's grandpa revealed a foolproof method to catch a raccoon. It involved using a brace, a drilling tool, and nails. By drilling a hole in a log and placing something shiny at the bottom, the raccoon would be enticed to reach in. However, once the raccoon grabbed the object, it couldn't pull its hand out, getting stuck in the process. It was a simple yet effective technique. Life presents us with various challenges, some of which are beyond our control. While unforeseen circumstances can arise, there are other challenges that we bring upon ourselves. I often reflect on the concept of sin and draw a parallel to the raccoon caught in a trap. It can be as simple as opening up our hand and letting go of what's inside the trap and stepping away to regain freedom. As believers, we sometimes struggle to release the things that ensnare and hold us captive. In our Bible study, we discussed Hebrews 12, 11, which speaks to this very issue. When will we find the strength to let go of fear, hatred, lust, bitterness, addictions, and envy, etc.? These are the very things that easily entangle and trap us. However, we possess the power within us to release these harmful emotions. It reminds me of the biblical analogy of a dog returning to its own vomit highlighting how we sometimes fall back into unhealthy patterns. It appears that we find ourselves drawn to the pain, hurt, and self-inflicted afflictions at times, almost as if we derive some strange pleasure from them. Perhaps it is the allure of instant gratification that tempts us. However, if we were to truly reflect on it, we would realize that there is far greater joy and peace in letting go than in remaining entangled in those destructive situations. By releasing ourselves from the grip of these negative experiences, we open ourselves up to a world of possibilities. We can find true contentment, harmony, and serenity. It may seem difficult to comprehend until we actually experience it, but the freedom and liberation that come from letting go far outweigh the momentary pleasure or satisfaction we find in our self-inflicted entrapments. 1 Corinthians 9.27 I discipline my body and bring it under control, so that after proclaiming the message to others, I myself will not be found unworthy of the reward. In this verse, the writer, believed to be the Apostle Paul, emphasizes the importance of personal self-discipline. He expresses his commitment to exercise control over his own body and desires. This self-discipline is aimed at ensuring that, despite proclaiming the message of faith to others, he remains steadfast and does not falter or become disqualified from the anticipated rewards or blessings. Thank you for watching. Let us pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you and recognize the importance of self-discipline in our lives. Whether it involves training our bodies and keeping in shape or overcoming small habits, self-discipline is a challenge many of us face. Lord, you see our struggles. Give us the strength to overcome areas in our lives where we lack discipline. For example, while I enjoy cookies and milk, I choose to resist such sweets at this moment. Help us develop self-control in various aspects, such as how much TV we watch, the time we spend on our phones, and most importantly, ensuring we prioritize our spiritual growth through engaging in your word. It's remarkable how we find time for many other activities but often fall short in spending time with you. So Lord, help us set our priorities straight. Grant us the self-discipline we need, for we desire to grow closer to you. We offer this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.